Hello, welcome back. Big Nick Burt with the Big Nick Energy. We had a pretty crazy Monday. So I wake up and someone made a diss track about us. So pretty fun. That's how you know you made it. People uh, taking their time out, speak your name into existence. It's very nice. Very nice over here. But aside from that, Mr. RJ Barrett got his extension. And now normally, this wouldn't really mean much for the Big Nick Energy crew. But because we brought on this guy, Brad Dressler, that's right. He has some inside connections. And he tweeted earlier that morning, you know, it's going to go two ways and it's going to happen today. And he put a little disclaimer out there saying, hey, you know, this may or may not happen. But if it does happen today, this is what's going to happen. Either RJ is getting the extension or he's getting traded. And now a lot of people went into the comments, retweeting and all that, calling them fake, saying delete the count. You're just doing nicks for clicks and whatever, whatever. But what happened at the end of the day? RJ Barrett gets extension. We're all happy about that. Very excited. So we hopped in the space about 11 o'clock last night, I think, Eastern time. Maybe a little bit later. And uh, we had to go off. We had to do that little victory lap, you know. And that's what today is for. It is the, Now, the day after, RJ Barrett has been extended. Waj is now tweeting, per sources, the same thing that we tweeted that morning. And now it's got, you know, and now it's running. People are going, oh, see, Waj bomb, Waj bomb. But uh, let's not ignore the fact that Brad was on it that morning. So he had to, you know, go into the... Uh, into the comments he had to go into those quote tweets and and he was he was defending himself he was you know saying listen like it may not happen but this is what i'm hearing and that's why i'm saying you guys gotta chill out with this reactionary stuff you really do you gotta chill out with this reactionary stuff because you're not gonna run it back now that it's right point in case point in case i got all the receipts up in here Man, oh man. B. Nix thinks we're pretty bad. B. Nix is also a uh, Andrew Tate enjoyer, so take that for what you will. Sean from TKW. I hate Sean. I don't watch this. That's what he says. He says, reporting something you hope is fake is stupid. Just keep it to yourself. You did something wildly corny. Don't make it more corny by doubling down. Man. He says, I speak to people who could be used as a source, but I don't feel a need to clout chase. And if the information isn't substantial enough, I sit back and wait to see what happens. Not reporting something with a big or and a deal that isn't happening. And that was that morning, Monday morning. He says, it's not shade. You did something gross. And I have already told you so directly. People are speaking on it, which is why you did it. It's just not the conversation you want. Which I think is fine. I honestly think you do need to mitigate what you're putting out there. Not everything is genuine. But as Brad said in the space... He really weighed the option. He's like, man, maybe I shouldn't report on this. But at the end of the day, he's like, you know what? I, I trust this source, so I'm going to put it out there. And he did. And guess what? He trusted that source, and he was right. And he was right. New York Forever M. And he followed back everybody, by the way. If you want to get some follows, go ahead and follow me. He will follow you back. He says, what a tough guy. Try to get some clout by spreading a false report. And now you're upset the entirety of Nick's fan base thinks you're ridiculous. Grow up. Man, I think it's ridiculous that RJ Barrett got that extension just as he said. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I, I couldn't stop grinning when he got that extension. I couldn't stop. I still am excited because I got this guy's jersey. And mind you, I don't buy jerseys, right? This is an old Reebok. This is an old Reebok. Walt Frazier hanging up. That's the only one I've been rocking for 10, 15, 15 years, something like that. Yikes. So I finally pulled the trigger on that Barrett. I don't have it right now. I'm in the middle of something. You, you can tell. But uh, 
that Barrett jersey, man, I had to cop it, especially in that white when I found out Dolan didn't like it. <laughs> Call me petty, all right? Call me petty. My goodness. Jay Homie. Jay Homie. He thinks uh, we're trying to promote our space. What you said in your initial made-up tweet does kind of make sense. If the Knicks aren't giving RJ the max, which they didn't. But he says RJ won't sign for nothing less than that. So they're probably going to trade him anyway. Listen, he did sign for less than the max. What's up? What's up? Jay Rose. Jay Rose. John Romaine. Knicks for clicks. Buddy. There are easier ways to get followers than the Knicks. You know that? Knicks for clicks. BX Bubba 45. Yeah, right, he says. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I put it up there. That's Squidward. When I purposely spread false information on the internet. IQ Enjoyer. Hey, I'm an IQ Enjoyer, too, but IQ Enjoyer. K, KJ, Kijan Nu. Oh, Kijan Nu. Is that, are you Haitian? Kijan Nu, yeah. What's up? Sac passe. Uh, says delete your account. Maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't delete our account. I don't know. My goodness. D1 New NYC. D1 NYC. Fake news for real. Hamburger. Jared Hamburg. You're full of it. Just own it. You know what I just own? The fact that we're right. The fact that RJ got extended, all right? What's up? What's up? Run it back. Like, I kept all these receipts. Don't worry. We're kept, we're still going. We're still going. Bro wants attention so bad. XX, XXXV quotes. TJ quotes. We don't want attention, bro. We're just Knicks fans. We're hanging out. This dude's got sources, and he's letting you know. He's letting the fans know this is what might happen. And when it does happen, you better tune in. And start actually respecting what we're saying. Not nicks for clicks. Not for attention. My goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Life for NBA thinks Jonathan is our source. Why does people hate on Jonathan so much? That's what I don't... I don't even understand. I don't care. Jonathan is cool. He come in to speak his piece. He's got a suit on. He's chilling. Lonnie Williams... Good old Lonnie Williams. Why post something if you don't know the validity of it? Because it's a source. It can happen. What do you mean? Why would he post something that he doesn't know the validity of? He believes in the source. He wants to get it done. So he posts it. You don't. You can just ignore it. You don't got to go in the comments and do all this. Kaplan. Matt Kaplan. Bro, no way. Yes way. Yes way. Man... I can't even can't even get through half of these things. Joey Walnuts, Jimmy by Bi Jimmy Bicycle, Jimmy Bicycle, Joey Walnuts, whatever you want to be called. I wouldn't retweet this if you paid me. First of all, he did retweet it. Second of all, why would we pay you to retweet it? Just just take it or don't. I don't understand. Take it or don't. He says, wow, this guy said, J. Ta J, J. Taylor, J. Taylor Digital, J. Taylor Digital, that or is doing a lot of work there. Literally, Waj tweeted the same exact scenario. Either it was an ultimatum type of move. Either RJ is getting extended or he's getting traded. That's a big or, sure, but that's that was the, that was the ultimatum. That was a scenario. Waj tweets it. Everyone loves it. We tweet it. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Don't do that to yourself. Josh Silverman, he's got a blue check and all that. He gave us the, uh, here we go again with the lies, Stephen A tweet. Come on, with the lies. Run that one back. I told him to delete that, nephew. Come on. Rich talk, rich franchises. FOH, come on. Jack from Nick's Tape 999. He says, delete your tweet. Why would we delete our tweet when we got good sources? Yo, yo, yo. Listen, 
there's like five more pages of all these fools coming out and showing how little faith they have in the world. And it's not a good look. It's not a good look. If you don't like it, just leave it. Once you come out and talk, now you got to run it back and, and eat some crow today. And that's why I'm making this whole video. Teach underscore MT. Give it a rest. Idiotic. Come on, come on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's all I can say. Sean says we can't take a victory lap. Why? Why can't I take a victory lap? Waj literally tweeted the same exact thing that we already that we already got. We were ahead of Waj, so we're taking that victory lap, baby. We're taking that victory lap. He says it was still nasty, though. Come on. Come on, Sean. You're better than that. Either don't say nothing or say something positive to us. Like, because now you got to eat crow today. Everyone's going off on, oh, RJ's got the extension. Oh, Leon's the best. Look at what Waj is tweeting. Mm. All right. That's enough pettiness. That's enough pettiness. I just had to run it. Oh, 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 oh almost forgot. This is the most important one. Steven Cordero. Yo, you really had my guy in this space sighing because he was so just burnt out from having to answer all these people going at him in, the, in these comments, man. And Steven Cordero, you get a special place because you blocked us after, after we were made correct. Ridiculous. I'm not even going to read it. Yo, I'll, I'll post him up there. You can look at Steven Cordero, all his insights. Hmm. Not a fan. So if you guys want to run it back, apologize. Eat some crow. Update, update, update. I've already finished filming this segment, but I had to check the apology thread. Steven Cordero. Steven Cordero. You're off the hook, baby, all right? Appreciate the apology. Really do. I'm going to have to cut that out now. Good job on you. Listen, be like Steven Cordero, all right? Be like my dude Steven Cordero. He came, he talks a bunch of nonsense, but at the end of the day, he apologized. He says, my bad, props to you, good work. But not after the fact, he did like 20 tweets, questioned our integrity, blocked us, and all that. But hey, that's on you. That's, that's within your right. You can do whatever you like. But I appreciate you coming back and apologizing. Thank you, Steven. Thank you. But I don't even want an apology, really. What I really want is you just to come better to begin with. Like, why are you coming with that energy to begin with? If you don't like it, just sit on it. I don't know why you're stepping to us trying to say, oh, Nick's for clicks and yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a Nick's account. That's all we do is Nick's. Anything you, we do is going to be Nick's for clicks. What are you talking about? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, moving on. Moving on from these crazy, crazy tweets. Because, because I wanted to share the Twitter space. And I'll put it, it's like 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to edit it down. So it's not so long. It's just some highlights. But there's a really golden nugget at the end of some Utah fan coming in the space saying, Knicks don't understand the value of Donovan Mitchell. Because he's 100%, not even close, better than Carmelo Anthony. He said he's going to be the best player for the Knicks since prime Patrick Ewing. Donovan Mitchell, the best player for the Knicks since prime Patrick Ewing. All right, so I'll put the space up. You can listen to all that. Listen to my man, Brad. The dude's just like burnt out from dealing with this Twitter nonsense. And this is why I'm not really that active on these socials, man. Because y'all be just saying whatever you want to say, no matter what. And it's like... You could say the same thing about these random talking heads. I get that. You're tired of the Knicks for clips. I get that. But at the end of the day, we're just some fans. We have some a little bit of inside source. And when we say something, we're just, that's it. We're just trying to share our info. That's it. And when it got proved right, y'all need to run that all the way back and come correct the next time. My goodness. So here's the space. All right. Listen to that. Great. Hey, guys. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. (sighs) 
Hey, Phantom. What's going on, buddy? I think everyone needs to owe this man an apology right now. Like, right now. Oh, man. Every single account, bro. Every single one. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Unreal. Unfucking real. And you know what's crazy? My my source just texted me. He's like, see? <laughs> Let's go. Oh man. So, um I'd love I'd love for you guys to find the people that were giving me the hardest time today and let them know. Maybe they didn't just hear about the RJ extension. Let them know that RJ was extended. No. Nah. Within the 24-hour time frame. No, we can't good. do that because because your report was corny, bro. It was corny. It was mad corny, I know. Hold on. Wild. How crazy is that? Yeah, man. I mean, listen. I I never... I, I, I tried staying, like, true to myself from the jump. Like, I hit it with a disclaimer. You know what I mean? Like, bank guy, I want an apology. You're, you're coming up here. I want a formal one. I've shown you a lot of respect, and you disrespected me. This is Brad, Brad Dressler, 24. I used to run Daily Knicks. We used to talk all the time. You disrespected me. You didn't know it, but that's okay. That's all good. It's all love now. But all I'm saying is, like, yo, I just I stayed true to myself. I don't fucking post bullshit. I don't. I'm not. I'm never gonna do shit for clout. Now I'm getting clout. Now I'm getting the fucking clout that I deserve. Guess what? I didn't fucking care. I didn't want the clout to begin with. That's never what I wanted. All I wanted to do was just share a little bit of information with the people. You know what I mean? Like, I interact with a lot of you guys every fucking day. I interact with all of you guys every fucking day. And I just wanted to share a little bit of information. Whether it was accurate or not, I wasn't looking for the negativity that I got. But I got it anyway. And, and, and it's like, you know what? Take this as, use this as a lesson for anybody who did kind of fucking jump down my throat and you guys do it to other people like, yo, especially me, because I prefaced it. I prefaced it with a disclaimer like, yo, I am not 100% sure this is accurate. This is just what I'm hearing. That's all I'm saying, you guys. Again, I'm not, I'm not an insider. There's so many people in here right now. I'm not an insider. I don't have inside information. I have somebody who has in, in, a little bit of information that we, I found interesting. And trust me, I spent an hour fighting with him, debating with myself, what should I do? Should I release it? Should I just tell like my, my closest friends? What should I do? All right. I'll, I know I'll get some fucking backlash for this one. I'll put it out on Twitter. If it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, it's right. Look where the fuck we are. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, what's good, bro? Is anybody in here? Is my space not working? Nah, we can hear you. I think other people are having difficulty for us. I bet. Um, look at all these people coming up trying to get... It's like half the people fucking want to talk to me. I want apologies from all y'all. Especially you, bank guy. All right. There's way too many fucking people requesting right now. I'm by myself, y'all. Um, he who remains. You're you're Daniel, right? Yes, sir. You can talk to me. What do you think? What? There is nothing. To we talked about this in the chat when everyone was giving you grief, and I'm like, it sounds legit. I mean, it wasn't like you were like searching for something. You're like, hey, this is what I was told, and you explained it pretty well. And what, about three or four three or four different tweets? I don't know what to say, but you caught it perfectly. Like everything you caught out, right down the line. And everyone that was dogging you and bashing you for it, which was a little emotion, emotion was acting out because it could have went RJ could have been traded, which clearly it was, hey, figure out the correct package or we're just gonna keep him and extend him. And that's what happened. Oh, look at this. 
Woj report. Yo, New York's Leon Rose set tonight as a deadline to agree to a trade for Mitchell or extend RJ Barrett. Look at that shit. So, the bad news is, Spider's off the table, I guess. And I guess everything I said was true. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm so upset about that. Like, I, just, I don't get me wrong. I love RJ. But I really wanted Donovan Mitchell, bro. Hey, but look, they were willing to trade RJ for Donovan. Danny just got greedy. I think that's said, all speculation. I think that was all speculation. I don't think they were really trading RJ. Come on now. Um, I'm going to trust Wooj over anyone. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, you have to go with Woj. Uh, Bankai, I'd like an apology. Or are you getting be- sent back to the Shadow Realm again? Wait, an apology for what? Excuse me? Uh, apology for what? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I am pretty damn sure I saw you quote, t- quote tweet my shit, talking shit about it. I never quote tweeted you. You commented somewhere? I didn't. I think you're I lying, actually, but I'll give you a pass. That's fine. Actually, I'm in a good mood. I actually didn't because when I came up, I was actually going to say, like, I don't really interact with anybody from Big Nick Energy or anything like that. And I've barely been on any spaces this summer because, like, they've been very tedious and annoying. But I did see, like, all the responses to what you posted earlier because it was clearly – it was all over my timeline. I mean, it was pretty – pretty hard to avoid yeah so what i was gonna say is people like people there's people that i saw commenting on it they actually owe you an apology but that's not gonna happen because people are not gonna hold themselves accountable and their buddies accountable and you could tell you could tell tell who these people are you could tell i'm just saying they're not gonna acknowledge that they were wrong but I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, again, it is what it is. I Maybe my mistake. I do apologize if you didn't. No, nah, it's okay. It. It's okay. It's, it's, it's probably a misunderstanding. You could, you, could imagine, never... you could imagine I literally had maybe like 100 to 200 people. Well, <laughs> like, I, mean, shit. well I, I can imagine because I saw a lot of – like I saw a decent amount of some of the stuff just floating on my timeline because like between people liking it or quote, quote tweeting it or whatever, like, I was seeing it, so it was, like, almost, you know, impossible to avoid. Like, I would just scroll, scroll, and I'd see one, like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. So, yeah, like, I saw this stuff. Yeah. But I, I, you know, I didn't comment on it. I didn't like anything. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't say anything because at the end of the day, I've been trying to stay away from a lot of, like, Donovan Mitchell stuff at the end of the day because I'm just, like, whether the, the trade happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen then it doesn't happen, right? Like, I don't have any control over it. So I've been trying to stay away from that stuff. <laughs> right. But, you know. I, but but overall, I did see, like, a lot of people get rude and all that stuff. So they owe a lot of these people owe you an apology. It's true. At this point, it is what it is, you know? Um, hopefully, I'm able to turn some haters into some fans. And hopefully, some of the people that talked a little bit of shit can uh, can now follow us with with uh, with an understanding that we we have integrity. You know what I mean? Like again, I I am not the type of person to go out of my way to lie about anything. I I, I pressed this person. I was like, I need to know everything. I spent time thinking about what I wanted to do, whether I was going to do this or not. You know what I mean? So. Just understand that we're not full of shit. That's all. Can we still get Donovan? I I don't I based on this report, I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. technically we can. But like I said, the 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 Woj report is New York's Leon Rose set tonight as a deadline to agree to a trade for Mitchell or extend RJ Barrett. Really interesting shit. Bert, talk to me. Let's go, Knicks, baby. I am over the moon. Ecstatic. Ecstatic. I love RJ Barrett. I can't wait to see this guy ball out. 
So happy this happened today. Honestly, couldn't have been a better Monday. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, it's uh, it's a little, it's a little sad, you know, because because why? Because you you want Donovan? You think it's not going to happen now? No, nah, I've just I spent the last hour beefing with this dude Steve Cordero. I don't know if you guys have seen him around, but he is an absolute tool. Listen, listen, <laughs> just let brush it off because you were right. Listen, just stick to your guns. You know, if you're hearing something and it happens, guess what? You got it. And if you hear something that doesn't happen, then guess what? It just fell through. Whatever. Who cares? People hear things and it ha- and it falls through all the time. What's crazy to me is again, I see all these like engagement farming site you know twitter pages and all these like quote unquote insiders you know what i mean nobody prefaces their tweets with massive disclaimers like i i kept saying this before like i i i did not try to get one over on anyone it's not like i didn't include a disclaimer it's not like i hid the disclaimer in like the third tweet in the thread i literally put it front and center first first tweet like yo take this with a grain of salt and that's it and it's just like it's it's kind of like i said i i I really hope that anybody in here that was negative towards me and the situation like use this as a lesson to like be be a fucking adult on the internet and like not try to like cyber bully people like i don't really give a shit i'm not offended by anybody or anything that anyone said but it's just, it's just, it's a little ridiculous that people are, are so quick to jump down your throat and be a complete douchebag about it. You know, like, again, I prefaced it with, hey, it's, I, A, I don't know how valid this is. B, fucking take it with a grain of salt. Like, let's see if it happens. Let's see if it doesn't. Who cares? Now that it happened, now everyone wants to be fucking my best friend. Whatever. You know, but the thing is, you got to understand, that's the thing, though, with these media people. Like, We're so used to ESPN. We're used to all the people just doing nicks for clicks and stuff. That's why people get real sensitive about it. So when they see something that's real or something that's at least like, you know, like you say, you put a disclaimer out there telling them, hey, listen, like, this is just what I'm hearing, whatever. They take it so personal. And it's like, bro, now that you're right, it's like, you're, you're like you said, like now they got to flip. And that's why I'm like, I just come with positivity well, well, all the time. The thing is, like, the thing if I got nothing nice to say, you don't say nothing. The thing is also you gotta pay attention that a lot of people on this app they don't they don't really like to formulate their own opinions. They also don't like to put their own takes out there and stuff because they're afraid that they'll get bashed for it. So like say if a certain likable like personality on Nick's Twitter says, Oh, this, this, this is happening, right? The trade is not happening, a lot of people are gonna side with that person whether what you said was right or wrong. You know what I mean? Like they'll just jump on you. So that's Word. how it works, too. Word. I'm just happy um, RJ's here. Draft RJ, keep RJ, let's go. I'm super stoked for this season now. Yo, really I, not for nothing, I'm I'm real happy with that deal. I, I, listen, I love the kid. I I wouldn't have felt good paying him 185. But now that he's getting, what is it, 120 for five? I think 120 for four. 120 for four, yeah, 30 million a year. Up to 30, yeah. up to 30 million a year. You'll get Chill uh, up here. Chill's got his hand up for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Chill. We'll go to Chill, and then obviously we're going to go to the biggest R.J. Barrett fan in the world, State. Chill, what's up? Oh, what's up? Um, uh, shout out to you, man. Uh, everything you said was accurate, man. Um, uh, me, from an outside perspective, I'm just wondering now uh, what this does, the whole Mitchell thing. Shout out to you guys for signing uh, R.J. Barrett. Um, uh, I mess with him heavy. Um, he's a really good player, so... So y'all got him on a really, really solid deal. So so from that perspective, I'm I'm pretty happy for y'all. Uh but the Mitchell thing, right now it's more kind of up in the air than I thought it would be now, uh, at this point. Um I mean now I mean me from you know, I'm a Cavs fan. Um maybe it's teams like us are back in it. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna end up turn out, but uh just shout out to y'all for for doing the right thing. I think it was my right thing, right, for, for y'all to do this. Because I've said beforehand, I've been in spaces beforehand, saying that I do not want y'all to give up the farm for Mitchell. I just don't want that to happen to y'all, and y'all get fleeced, and I don't want that to happen to y'all. 
because uh because y'all are a really prominent organization and y- and frankly y'all need to be good man like it, it's better when the Knicks are good so so yeah shout out to y'all yeah word um what's really interesting though is that you know like I had mentioned before apparently RJ was on the table like RJ was very much so on the table is that is that shocking to a lot of you guys like I again when I heard the news I didn't know what to believe and the fact that hang on I didn't know what to believe at first and the fact that we were able to kind of I, I mean I was able to find this out ahead of time it kind of prepared me emotionally to hear about RJ L- listen I am ecstatic that he got paid but at the expense of Donovan Mitchell it's a tough one State, how you feeling? <laughs> you know, State, you know, you know, you know how I know you got love for me, bro? Because I posted that earlier and uh, you of all people, you said one little comment and you kept it pushing. I know, I know if it was like some random person. I know for a fact you would have went on a space. You would have ripped that person apart. So I know you got love for me. I know you got love for me. So I respect that, and then the love goes right back to you. I appreciate it, man. Um, that's what teams supposed to do. Like I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna sit here and act delusional. Like if I'm Utah, I'm asking for RJ. <laughs> but honestly, like I respect Leon Rose's gangster for just walking away, like, and giving them an ultimatum and not feeding into their demands. And what's so funny is this is a valuable deal. Like, I don't know the 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 contract right now at the moment, but I'm pretty sure the most money he's going to make is the first year, and then it's going to decrease year by year. But I'm extremely happy with the with the RJ resigning, man. The first – First round pick to resign with the Knicks since Charlie Ward. I was four years old. So now I'm in my thirties. That is very, you know, good to hear. It's good to hear that Leon Rose didn't give up the farm. Um, like people like me asked him to do so. So I respect him just ignoring people like me who who are emotional, who can give emotional takes at times. Um, but now that I know like we're probably not trading for Donovan Mitchell right now at the so, moment. So, I'm, I'm happy you said that. Mm-hmm. I, I just got some more news. <laughs> mm-hmm. You guys you guys ready? Go ahead. Um, all right, check it. The only reason Leon Rose does this, this is from the same, the same source, mind you. The only reason Leon Rose does this is to lower the trade cost for Mitchell. This might send Utah into a spiral, wanting the best deal, which is still the Knicks offer. Um, hold on. Also, this would make a trade easier. Yeah, so I mean, with that said, uh, kind of to that last point, this may actually be to our benefit because now it's going to force – now we can no longer trade RJ, right? So now it's going to force Utah to accept whatever else we have to offer if they actually do want to move on from him. Because guess what? Even without RJ Barrett, we still have the best offer on the table. Plain and simple. You know what I mean? Uh, Michael, you've had your hand up for a little bit. What's going on? All right. I just want to give, like, a Jazz fan's perspective on this. Yeah, but I'm pumped right now. I don't think, after all of this talk that I've seen on the timeline right now, that Knicks fans fully understand how good Donovan Mitchell is. Like, Donovan would have been the best player y'all have had since prime Patrick Ewing. Better than Carmelo Anthony, he says. A hundred percent, not even close. (laughs) Yeah, take Michael out, man. Take Michael out. And how I want to end you 
today. How I want to end it today is an old Reddit comment that I got some awards for and whatever nonsense that I actually like someone someone said, you know, what they would do for RJ. So I wrote this whole thing out and I'm going to read it for you because I think it's just ridiculous. This was 294 days ago as of making this video. Violate your restraining order for RJ. Get two years for RJ. Get out in six months for RJ. Check in with your PO for RJ. Take a piss test for RJ. Violate probation for RJ. Get five years for RJ. You can't vote in the US for RJ. Struggle to find a job for RJ. Call up your old celly for RJ. Hit a lick for RJ. Get 15 years for RJ. Go PC for RJ. Snitch on your new celly for RJ. Get out in eight years for RJ. Have trouble readjusting to the outside world for RJ. Wonder where the time went for RJ. Try and do better for RJ. Violate probation for RJ. 25 to life for RJ. And I wrote that, I don't even know when, almost a year ago. Just on some hype shit. Getting excited about the day, getting excited about RJ. But most importantly, we're drafting him, we're keeping him, we're extending him, and we're loving him, all right? You gotta love it. The fan reaction was like no other. We're super excited for this season. I think a lot of people are kind of settling down. Like, do we even need Donovan Mitchell? And now the ball is in Utah's court, all right? Quite literally, the heat is up, the ball is in their court. You're the guys rebuilding. You're the guys sitting on him. What do you want to do with it? What do you want to do with it? So I put some scenarios out there on Reddit. Three scenarios I was saying. One, they hold they trade him before the before the start of the season, either to the Knicks, either with a three team trade, whatever. Two, they hold on to him until the trade deadline, and they hope that the Knicks don't do good. They hope that Donovan doesn't sabotage and that the third team, whatever, doesn't make a move without him. And then three, this is the most unlikely one, is that they, they really start to believe that, hey, we're going to rebuild with him. And you guys should believe that too, which I'm not buying that. So that's it for me. Big Nick Energy versus Nick's Twitter. Maybe come correct the next time. Think about how you're t talking to people. Really, think about how you're talking to people. Because my dude Brad is like stressed out. He can't even enjoy the exciting, happy moment of RJ getting extended. Because he's been dealing with this nonsense all day. All right? And y'all shouldn't come like that to him. He doesn't, he doesn't deserve that. He's not one of these people out here trying to use and abuse you. All right? Save that for somebody else. So, all right. I'm Big Nick Burt with the Big Nick Energy. Coming to you correct positive and i'm positive this season is going to be excellent i cannot wait very excited thank you so much bert knows basketball y'all <laughs>